Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to see you here and today we're going to talk about a very important thing. I'm going to tell you my tips and tricks of planning your time and achieving your goals because you know this feeling of procrastination when you want to do so many things but then you don't know where to start and you kind of want to get into Stanford but you kind of kind of also wanting to stay in your country and you don't know what to do you don't know where to start and I've been there I had the same feelings and I had the same problems when two years ago I was just about to I started my admission process to American universities but then I realized I only had like a year when I had to pass TOEFL, when I had to pass GMAT and fill in all the application forms and make sure universities provide financial assistance and it seemed like a lot of tasks so uh, I decided to plan my time actually that year I realized that time is our most powerful resource and it's really limited because sometimes you start your day and you think hey I have the whole weekend in front of me and I can watch TV series first then I can hang out with my friends and then I'm gonna visit my parents and only then I'm gonna do some tasks that I've planned and then you end up not doing anything at all because you just spend your time you know hanging out with your friends which is not bad but if you have a goal of getting into foreign university or learning a language uh, then that means you've done nothing for it so the first Thing I would advise you to do is to have a deadline so when I started planning my admissions process for a foreign university I had very certain deadlines from every single university and I knew that I have for example three months to prepare for TOEFL pass GMAT and fill in all the application forms or that I have you know just one month to pass all of the exams so I had the exact dates when I have to do what and it really helped planning everything because when you think oh uh, I'm gonna do this first like and see how it goes for example many people ask me um, can I just pass TOEFL and see what my score is and you know only then decide whether I should go to an American University or a British University or not this is a really bad strategy because if you're just trying it to see what the outcome would be this wouldn't really work because you need to have a certain goal for example you need to score 100 on TOEFL on August 15th for example uh, and this gives you a uh, you know the understanding that the time is limited and as I said time is everything so you need to start planning your time right now the second thing uh, what you can do to plan your time I'm going to show you an app on my iPhone it's called well you probably know it is called Google Calendar uh, I'm not sure oh yeah you're gonna see it great so Google Calendar is where I plan everything so I plan all the meetings there it's very useful because if you're meeting a particular person who also has a Google Calendar you just send them an invite and they will get it into their calendar so you'd never miss a meeting and sometimes I plan meetings two months ahead and it's really good if somebody you know has it in their calendar so you wouldn't forget it even two months and second thing you can do there so as you see they have goals reminders and also events so event is when you plan a meeting reminder is a list of things you need to do during the day or during the week and the third thing it has just appeared which is called goals I really really like it so for me goals is like filling application forms and it would put uh, a certain event uh, which is applicable to your goal for example filling the application forms um, during the days when you have minimum tasks for example my goal would be always during the weekend and Google Calendar would ask me hey Marina what have you done today to achieve your goal and this is kind of really motivating because sometimes well you don't know when you have time for achieving your goal and Google kind of tells you hey Marina you have time on Saturday and you're like yes I do have time on Saturday I have to do it so please use Google Calendar really useful uh, third thing I'm using oh by the way you can enjoy the view in the back while I'm searching for the program it's a very beautiful sunset a uh, very beautiful river um, and the program is called Trello here's the, the logo Trello is something that helps helps you to plan your tasks so what really works for me is having two columns first column is called Marina <laughs> uh, very selfish so 
this column is for daily tasks and I try to keep my tasks to five a day if I go beyond five that means I will never ever do this task so five is the is the maximum and so I start my morning with another column which is called marina later in marina later I have a lot of ideas for my business for example which is linguatrip.com study abroad platform uh, for example uh, I'm thinking yeah I need to shoot this video and I should uh, write text for a particular section on the website and I have so many ideas I just list them there when the morning starts I have something I, I need to do every day like check my emails get back to people and then I have some time to actually you know do things that I've planned and I pick up a couple of tasks and I start doing them and yeah the trick here is to have five things maximum because otherwise you feel too overwhelmed uh, I've had that when I had like 10 tasks a day they would never ever go away because when you have 10 tasks you even know, don't know where to start and this is also applicable to your goals like if you have 150 goals you would never know where to start where to begin and you need to concentrate on just one for example like for you guys I guess uh, we already have 6,000 uh, subscribers on the channel and I guess for many of you this goal would be getting into a foreign university so concentrate on it uh, try to dedicate at least one hour a day to achieve it if you're not right there yet if your application is in a year or so you can dedicate some time on the weekend by using Google another useful advice um, this is actually one of the best advice I've got uh, during the accelerator program 500 startups in the Silicon Valley if you subscribe to my channel you've probably seen a video uh, where I'm with Purnima who uh, kind of interviewed us for that accelerator and she would tell me every day Marina one thing at a time because you know when you're flooding with ideas especially if you run your own business or you know you want to apply to 150 universities or you want to practice TOEFL speaking TOEFL reading and everything you know golden rule is one thing at a time so for me for in the company uh, don't go everywhere don't try to work on conversion from emails to bookings uh, you know growing your traffic just concentrate on one thing first and see how it goes when you're preparing for TOEFL don't try to do reading and then speaking and then listening and a couple of practice tests concentrate on one thing at a time uh, and this is what I did with my TOEFL as well because when I realized my speaking section is so so bad because speaking in TOEFL is so so weird uh, what I just did I did eight speaking sections in a row just you know started with the first one and went to the eighth one it was really practical when you concentrate on one thing your brain kind of adapts to the situation and it starts to work in that particular direction so one thing at a time and I think the last thing I wanted to share with you because I've shown you so many apps well not so many I've shown you two apps on my phone uh, another app I would really recommend is Kindle because when you have free time and when you're stuck in traffic and you don't really have access to internet don't start playing games I know Pokemon Go is a big trend and I also have it on my phone but you know it's a time killer and what you want to do because time is your most precious resource you want to use your time in the best manner and the best thing you can do in your free time is read an interesting book so download a couple of books for your Kindle I would recommend The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up this is a book I've recently read and I will make a a uh, big review on it because it made me throw away six big bag, plastic bags of rubbish from my apartment and something you know like how to get into Stanford if you're applying for university so have these two books and when you have free time like 20 minutes a day just read them you would be amazed how many books you would be able to read in a month with just only 20 minutes a day okay guys thank you for watching this video I hope this was useful Please share your tips in the comments. Tell me what you do to uh, make the most out of your time and how you plan everything during your day. I think it will be really useful for all of us. And the last glimpse at St. Petersburg, very beautiful today, beautiful sunset. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you so much. Bye-bye.